730, 7125. 7125, Signal 14, we have a lost hiker in the Green Swamp Management Area. It's gonna be 11 year old female, black jacket, blue jeans. She's been in the woods for approximately. Even experienced hikers can get lost or injured on the trail. When that happens, Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission officers are ready to help. Today, SWTV is bringing you the amazing inside look on the FWC's newest cutting edge search and rescue team currently being developed right here in Lakeland. We call it Drone Dog. This is Molly, a three-year-old black lab and a unique canine officer. Her partner, canine officer Livingston and Molly completed over 420 hours of training to assist with evidence recovery, post wildlife detection and tracking. But here's what makes Molly stand out from the rest. Molly also works with an electronic partner. This is the FWC's SkyDO X2 drone, one of the FWC's newest tools. When Molly is tracking or searching, Officer Livingston wears a special beacon that allows this drone that Captain Bod Trigger pilots to guide them as they track. So what do you feel like the drone adds to your searches? The drone definitely adds that eye in the sky. The drone pilot is able to tell me, hey, you have water coming up, or if it's a really open area, he's able to search that wood line with his FLIR, the, the forward looking infrared, then I don't need to go in there and we find a different spot. So it adds that capability of that drone to search a way bigger area. I also want to welcome Captain Von Trigger. He's in charge of the drone part of this partnership. Hi, Olivia. Thanks for having me. Hi. So, what can people do if they're missing to make it easier for people to find them? That's a great question. So, if you were to go hiking and you find yourself lost in the woods, uh, you want to be in an area where if we were to go look for you, it'd be easier for us. So, maybe in an open area. Um, if you have anything that might help us with maybe a signal, if you were to put a blanket or a jacket on the ground that would be contrasting, meaning it'd be, we could see it really easily from the air. So, the lost hiker they were searching for that was me. I had the opportunity to be part of a training exercise for the drone dog program to practice tracking a lost hiker. Before I headed off into the wilderness, I got some great information from Captain Von Trigger to help us all be safe and prepared when hiking or exploring. The first thing you want to do is make sure that you tell somebody, we're going out in the woods today. We're going to go out in one of the areas called Green Swamp or we're going out to one of the state parks. We also learned that when hiking or exploring, Take a bag with you, including plenty of snacks and water, a brightly colored jacket or poncho, any medications you might need, and a phone with a GPS or a map of the area you're hiking in. Let's get back to the training activity with the Joan Dog program and see this team in action. Molly starts her search with smelling an item that has the set of a person who is being looked for, like my favorite sweater. While she gets her tracking harness on, another officer launches the drone. Officer Livingston puts the beacon in his sleeve pocket. Molly gets the scent and the hunt is on. The drone was a huge help when I was lost because it was a cold day out. The thermal imaging gave big clues about places to search. Anything alive shows up very bright against the background. When I realized I was lost, I thought back to what Captain Von Trigger told us when he visited SWE. He told us to remember the word stay. First, stay in one place, especially if you're on a trail. Second, stay hydrated. Drink a little of your water, but not all of it. Third, stay visible. Put your bright item where it can be seen from the air or from searchers on the ground. Fourth, stay calm. Someone will be looking for you. This is the time to try sending a group text with your location, what you're wearing, and any medical issues you have. Fifth, stay put. Don't move around, especially if you hear people looking for you. Yell or wave your bright item but let them come to you. Eventually, I could hear the drone buzzing high above me. I waved my bright item in the air. Then suddenly, I could hear Molly rushing through the grass to find me. What a relief. You all right? I'm fine. This is K-9 Molly, she's not gonna hurt you, but we're gonna take you back to the okay? Okay. Being lost is an awful feeling. I'm so glad to know that the FWC has the drone dog team and other amazing ways to find people. Hopefully, if we use the tips we learned, the next time we see Molly or the SkyDO2 drone will be the next visit that they have at our school.